good. Hey guys, I'm having technical difficulties. I just recorded it and I wasn't recording and all that jazz. Whatever. <laughs> I'm finally going to do the piercing video that some of you guys um, requested and wanted to see. Like how many piercings I have and when did I get them and how much they hurt. I generally don't think I have a lot of piercings. Uh, I just don't. And I think other people seem to think I do. Other people like my mom and <laughs> people in that genre and a couple of my friends do but I know other people that have like a million piercings so maybe that's why I don't think I have a lot but whatever I'll do it so start from the beginning the first one of course was my first hole which is here and here I got these when I was a baby so I don't really remember how that felt I think I was probably about six months old. So yeah, those were those. And when I was 14, I got my second hole, which is here and here. And at the same time I got that, I got my cartilage pierced, and I think it was this, this right here. I got all three of those pierced on the same day. It was pretty, it wasn't that bad. My mom had to take me because I was, in court, of course, like underage. And she was making noises and making it seem like it was a big deal, but it didn't really hurt. So, I don't know. Then, the next piercing was the third hole, which is here and here. And I, I actually did those myself, and I was 14 then too. And I just pulled my earring out of my ear because, I don't know. But, I did those when I was 14. And this one is missing the screw on little dagger thing. I didn't feel like changing my earrings because I'm lazy. So that's why that's gone. But those are my third holes. And then I think, I think next, I did this. I did this one when I was 15. I don't know if you can see. The second one. I did this one when I was 15. And I also did that one myself because I'm crazy. <laughs> And the third hole that I did on my own didn't really hurt. This one was crazy. Like it didn't hurt because I numbed my ear and I just continued to numb it. But it took me like an hour to get the needle through. And I used like a sewing needle because I'm not that smart and I was 15. So, yeah. I got that through and afterwards, like, piece of cake. Anyway, <laughs> um, I think next I did these two. These were professionally done. I don't know if you guys can see. But these two right here. Those were professionally done. And it didn't really hurt. I guess um, I was like numb to the idea of ear piercing. So those were like no pain factor. It's like a pinch and then it's over. And I get, actually I get like an adrenaline rush from piercing. So maybe that's another reason why they don't seem to hurt as bad. It's sort of like a addiction I guess. Um, next, oh, is my belly, my navel ring. Pull my pants up so you curves won't see anything, which is here. Ah! I got that when I was 15 or 16, I don't remember. And my mom had to take me to get that, and I went to some tattoo shop. I actually got a pierce twice, because the first time... I injured it like climbing out of a window. A long story. But I climbed out of a window and I hit my belly ring while I was still healing. And it got really infected and I had to take it out. And a couple months later I got it re-pierced. Um, the second time actually went way smoother than the first time, which was weird because it had to go to scar tissue. But I really didn't feel the second time. The first time hurt a little bit because he took forever. But that's it. It's, it's definitely bearable. Um, then after that, I don't know, that's pretty much all the other piercings that are not visible. Oh, I have my tongue. That's my tongue. <laughs> that was not supposed to look sexual, so I'm sorry if some of you guys got off to that, but that's not what I meant. And there's my nose, of course. Fairly new. 
and my Monroe, which technically would be called a Madonna since it's on the opposite side. Um, yeah, so that's basically my piercing. Um, 15 in total. Oh yeah, um, the, the Madonna Monroe, the Bray. It didn't really hurt. Someone asked me, they want to know all that I can tell them about it. There's nothing really much that I can really say because it didn't really hurt. It was like a pinch. Um, it heals feather, it heals fairly like quickly because it's an oral piercing. Um, it didn't really hurt. It's uh, pretty pretty low on the spectrum of pain on my tongue. That didn't hurt at all, but the afterwards, afterwards was, was hell. Because you can't, like, your piercing will heal fairly well if you leave it alone and just follow the aftercare. But this one is like in my mouth, so how could you leave it alone? So it was like constantly, and I couldn't eat, and I was hungry, and when I did try to eat and just like chew with my teeth and not use my tongue, I ended up doing something stupid like biting the bar. So it was just crazy. I was just over it. But that, that one lasts for about four days. Like the fifth day, it was perfectly fine. And uh, what else can I say? Oh, oh, I didn't mention. I also got my tragus, <laughs> which I'm sure you guys pretty much saw. My tragus, I got this when I was 15 or 16. Most of my piercings happened before I turned 18. And I was under age, so. Um, um, Okay, piercing to hurt the worst will most definitely be my tragus, which is this, because there's like no other feeling, like that's the one piercing that I actually felt felt. I felt my nose and it made my eyes tear, but it was definitely, my tragus definitely hurt more. Um, piercing to hurt the least would be my tongue, because you can barely feel it. It's just like someone pinching your tongue or like taking your tongue and holding it between their fingers and like pinching really hard. That's basically how I can describe it. That's pretty much it. This is my first video in like a long time. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to go go buy my cat some food because he's starving. <laughs> he's not starving. For all you animal activists, he's not starving. I promise. <laughs> Bye.